Hello, my wonderful people, you are welcome back to my YouTube channel Bishop Concept TV. Thank you very much, my subscribers, for your support, may God Almighty bless and protect you and your household, Amen. If you are new on my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I update new videos. Thank you. Before we continue, please sit back and watch this video. There's this prophetic message, there is something I would like all of you to know. There is nothing that happens that God is not aware of. You see, everything happening in this world happens for a purpose. And what is the purpose? There is no punishment that has no purpose in it. And there is nothing happening to anybody that God is not aware. And uh, listen to me, today I want to tell you something that will surprise you. You see, in the political class, all the things you see that is happening in the politics today, they are happening just for some people to wake up from their slumber and know things that they need to know. And it also happened for some people to be humbled. And God always allowed things to happen for some people to learn. Now listen to me, this uh, issue of uh, uh, Dr. Ojos or Kalo, that they have convicted him and they said he's going to serve jail time of 12 years. Listen to me. All Jews of Carlo will be out of the prison any moment from now, very soon. All Jews of Carlo is not going to stay up to a year in the prison. Why? Because he going into the prison is for him to learn something. Mark my word today. Write down that the prophet has said that all Jews of Carlo is not going to stay up to one year in the prison you will hear a news very soon they will come up with a news and they will tell you that uh yes uh, the this thing was error uh, they have made findings the the money that they talk about or whatever whatever is not right and uh, the judgment passed on him will be nullified and before you know it they will call him out and all Jews of Carlo will get back to his seat in the senate that is what God has revealed. Write it down. You will see it. When the time comes, this prophecy will be made known. And everybody will know that God knows everything before it happens. And I want to let you know that whatever you are today, God allow you to be whatever you are today for tomorrow. What is it tomorrow? Always remember that whatever you are given to do today, Tomorrow will always call. And when tomorrow calls, you know that that tomorrow that is calling is not just calling, but tomorrow is calling to ask, how have you done this thing yesterday? So go and tell him, or go and tell the people involved, Ojo Zocalo will soon be out of prison. And the moment he's out of prison, he will go back and take what belongs to him. And if he can humble himself and seek the face of God, God will give him another chance. Another chance God is going to give to him is for him to be able to put this right and to also benefit what God has prepared for him. Listen, this prophecy is for a time. The time is coming. Very soon, this year, you will hear the news. And they will tell you, maybe it might, the news might come maybe in the month of April or May. And when the news comes in the month of April or May, you will remember that today, I, the prophet of God, had told you. And why did I tell you? I give you this so that you will know that there's nothing happening under the sun that God is not aware of. And mind you that God is always interested in your case. Remember that God is still God. Up to tomorrow, he is God. He can never change. He can never fail. You will hear the news. The man they say is going to stay for 12 years in prison is a joke. He's not even staying up to one year. Tell them that prophet David King Leo Elijah, the major prophet of God that God is using to speak, have said it that in the month of April or May, a news will come and you will see it and you will know that God has spoken. That is the word of God and the message for today. And as today is a new day that God has made, we all shall continue to rejoice and be glad in it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare whenever god wants to bless his people especially the month of march god blesses the people and take them to their promised land 
may you be among the people that marched into your promised land and enjoy the good things that God has for you in Jesus mighty name thanks for watching so what do you think if you like this video please feel free to drop a comment below <laughs>